I just made some saltine crackers and I'm real excited to bring this recipe to all of you because I tried another one that was out there on the internet and it looks like a whole lot of people have been trying that recipe and it just doesn't work well in my opinion. And that recipe has like two tablespoons of butter in it and when you think about it crackers shouldn't have butter in them because uh, if you're making cookies you need to put shortening in them if you want to have a crispy cookie or butter if you want a chewy cookie. Well you want a crispy cracker so I wouldn't recommend using a recipe with butter in it for crackers. Uh, these turned out awesome. They're shortening in these and look at this. Nice crisp crackers. They're real good. The other ones turned out real tough and dry. These are like crackers. So here's how I made them. I hate to do this to y'all, but I'm going to explain about the flour again. <laughs> I got this recipe out of Bernard Clayton's New Complete Book of Breads. And I've just been burned by the wrong flour so many times that it's, it's going to take me a long time to get over this. <laughs> but when it comes to the flour and crackers, he says a good cracker can be made with all-purpose flour, but a better cracker can be made with a mixture of three cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of cake flour. So... A cake flour in the recipe is better and but then in the recipe for these crackers he says to use uh, bread flour or all-purpose flour so I was like well what the heck I know I don't want bread flour in it because the protein is too high in that so I looked up the protein content of crackers commercial store-bought crackers it's one gram of protein so I once again I used the white lily flour in this so, I used one and a half cups of the white lily flour, two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, and then I mixed all of that together thoroughly, set it aside, and then I mixed together two thirds cup of hot water and this needs to be between 120 and 130 degrees, and that is hot. Uh, half a teaspoon of malt syrup, which I don't have, so instead I used a heaping a quarter teaspoon of molasses. And two tablespoons of vegetable shortening. And just, I mixed all of that together until it was melted, then I added it to the dry mixture. And just mix it all together until you have yourself a dough. If it's too sticky, then add some more flour. I added about a quarter cup more flour to this. And then knead it for about four minutes until you have a nice smooth dough. Then put it in a bowl that has been buttered and flip it over so that all sides are coated. Cover it with some plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for anywhere from an hour up to 18 hours. And he said the longer you leave it, the better. Well, I was impatient and I took it out after an hour. I was supposed to roll this out into a rectangle about 18 inches long by 6 inches wide and no thicker than a sixteenth of an inch thick. Well, there's more dough here than that, so I cut it in half and I put the other half back in the refrigerator. So I rolled the dough out until it was a sixteenth of an inch thick. Then I folded the dough into thirds, turned it around, and rolled it out again to a sixteenth of an inch thick. And I cheat. I have some little bands that I can put on my rolling pin and roll it all out evenly to a certain thickness. There's a whole set of these bands that you can buy. So after I had it all rolled out, I cut the crackers out with a little pastry wheel. And I need some kind of a straight edge to follow or else I get the little crackers going all which away. So I just laid a bamboo skewer on the dough and used that as a guide. By the way, if you wanted to, you could roll this dough through a pasta machine. That's what a lot of people do. And if you do it this way, don't worry about being so precise because when you lift the crackers off the countertop and put them on the baking sheet, they get all crooked anyways. So I put the crackers on a baking sheet that I had sprayed with some oil. And then I took a bamboo skewer and poked holes in each of the crackers. You need to do that to keep the crackers from puffing up and I'm using the dull end of the bamboo skewer for these 
they're right big holes and then I bake them at 425 degrees for 15 minutes the book says anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes and I've left them in there for exactly 15 when I took them out of the oven I brushed the tops with melted butter and then I sprinkled them with salt and I also had some sour cream and onion powder that I bought from that Kaufman's place that I told you about on that clear gel deal and they turned out awesome so that other half of crackers is going to be sour cream and onion ones this powder is the same thing that they use on sour cream and onion potato chips then I put them on a wire rack to cool and I did a happy dance because this is about the fifth time I've tried to make crackers and it finally worked so that's how I made crackers I hope it helps